Oh yeah, look what we got going on here. Massive Enderman farm. Tons of XP. It's super, super efficient. Uh, as you can see, I've gotten 48 levels. And, for the whole point of even building this Enderman farm, both of my pickaxes are fully repaired up, which is super, super wonderful. Um, yeah, this is an absolutely insane build, and I was able to get it done, and it works perfectly. So happy with it. We've built up quite the supply of Ender Pearls as well, which I don't f uh, fully know what I'm going to do with them, but if the pace uh, continues, we're gonna just have to start throwing some of these into the void because this is more Ender Pearls than I can deal with. But that was a project for last week. This is a new episode, a uh, new week. Welcome back to Andromeda, everybody. And today we got some new things to uh, get done. Now, I was kind of going through like different ideas of what I wanted to do, and I, I don't want to start my mega base just yet. Um, I kind of want to wait for some of the 1.18 uh, world generation to build my base on. So I needed to come up with something a little uh, lighter to do, and I think I have just the thing. There are a few parts of this uh, little town area that could use some, just some cleaning up. And I think the perfect thing for today's episode is to just go through and uh, add some, some a better infrastructure to this place, make everything look just a little bit nicer. So I've laid out a few things that I think will be nice just to have while I'm doing this um, and hopefully be able to help make the place look a little more pretty. And we'll see where we... I don't really have a plan for exactly what to do. I know I want to fill up some of those holes over there and definitely any creeper holes that are found around the area. But if I run into any just little projects uh, that I want to get done, I think that today is just going to be all about that, just doing little things that have needed to get done around the world. So while I'm doing this, I kind of want to talk about the, um, mine, the Minecon event that happened this weekend and just give some of my, a little bit of my thoughts. Uh, it was split into three sections, so I think what I'll do is I'll just talk about my thoughts on each of those three sections, uh, the Deep Dark and the Warden, the Mob Vote, and then the next, the 1.19, the Wild Update. So, real quick opinion on the Mob Vote. The Alay was the one, the mob that I was rooting for the least, or that I was the least excited for, which, oh well that it won, but I would have been happy, honestly, with any of them. It's just that's the one I wanted the least. I was really hoping for the glare, actually, because I felt like the glare, or I felt like the mob vote doesn't need to be all about just deciding which one is the most useful. Um, so while the Olay is clearly the most useful out of all of them, uh, I felt like the glare and the copper golem added a bit more, like, ambiance, or I want to say, like, Minecraftiness, especially the copper golem. Um, and so I thought it would have been uh, really cool to see another golem in the game. And I thought the glare would have been a nice, like, cave creature. It is cool to know that we could still be getting the glare and the copper golem, though, in future updates. Uh, because they released the... Or they announced that they'll be doing the swamp update, which was a second place in the mob, in the biome vote, a couple years ago. And so, the fact that they are doing this mob vote now, or this biome now, shows that they aren't completely against doing mobs in biomes that were, that did not win. And so there's still a chance, definitely, that we might see the Copper Golem and Glare later, which is really cool. Speaking of the Swamp update, though, I, like, I'm really a fan of the idea of the nature and so there's that birch 
picture uh, a picture of a birch forest concept art that they showed that I thought looked really good. Um, but the only really like showcase of anything we got was for the swamp. And like frogs and fireflies have no uses and are really just more uh, like ambiance mobs. So those aren't too exciting. But the like honestly, all I'm excited for about the swamp are the boats with chests and the mangrove trees are really cool. So hoping for a little more with that, and I'm sure that we haven't seen everything, but it just uh, not super excited for that yet. The other part of that update though that I am excited for is the deep dark. The They've been working on that for a while and it looks like what they like were going for or what they have been working on has really paid off because the deep dark looks absolutely insane. Uh, it looks like this creepy uh, city and the warden and the, all the skulk sensors and how those could be implemented. I think they called it like the skulk family, like that entire family of types of items looks really good and really impressive. So that I am really excited for. But overall, Minecon was uh, super fun and exciting, and uh, yeah, I'm excited for any update that's going to come to Minecraft. But yeah, those were just some of my initial thoughts on the event. And there we go. We got quite a lot done during that little montage, and it's a little funny because if you had not seen this place before that, uh, the work that I just put in, you probably would not notice any little differences. Um, I, like, this updated path right here is so simple. Uh, like, no one would know that this was all messed up before and, like, you couldn't get up there. But yeah, I just fixed up a few little things. Uh, there's a mat, there's a massive hole over here that I filled up. And I think there's an there was another one. You can see the dirt over here. I just patched some things up, uh, flattened the land a little bit, made the paths nicer. And one of the other things I did is, oh, it's gonna start raining, that's too bad. Uh, but I added, uh, I opened up the villagers. Um, it adds tons of like ambiance to the area, like it really makes the area feel really nice uh, with all the villagers walking around. And hopefully I'm thinking with two farmer villagers, and as long as I get to bed soon enough, because uh, I'm not in the area very often where this is loaded, hopefully the villagers won't die. But look at this, this is already being dirtied again, oh my. The other thing I uh, kind of did during that montage was I really organized my all my storage. So I had tons of shulker boxes that had kind of just been uh, filled up with a bunch of random stuff. So I went through and organized to all the colors and everything. So this, all these purple ones right here are all filled with cobblestone. There's tons and tons of cobblestone. And then all the colored ones have something different. So end things, uh, nature things, uh, totems and saddles. And a few of them, because I actually organized everything, a few of them are completely empty just from uh, organizing things from there, putting them other places. But it did kind of make me realize how in need I am of a much larger uh, storage system. So we'll have to have to think about that in the near future. But the last and probably most major change I made is I added this little staircase, which you might have seen uh, in some of the clips. But it just makes going up to this upper level of the village way easier to get to the enchanting uh, area. And I might expand this area a little bit. There's definitely room up here. Someone has started building a castle, so maybe that could be repurposed to be uh, like a more functional up here. But I've noticed there have been there are lots of little areas uh, around down at the bottom that like are just completely empty. There's kind of like roads that lead along, but then it's completely empty. So maybe instead I will work on filling in those areas with random buildings. So I know I did not do a whole lot in this video 
Um, but in an attempt to try and get more videos out uh, on a more regular basis, just in the time that I do have, I will probably be doing more shorter videos. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this new... I, it's not a micro episode exactly, but uh, it is a shorter episode. And I th want to thank everybody for watching, and I will see you all in the next Andromeda update. Bye!